What is good A1, Adamant here, back with another video on Street Fighter 6. I was lucky enough to get a beta code from Capcom. Thank you so much Capcom for selecting me out of that large pool of people to be able to access the beta. I got a Steam code. I was able to get a little bit of footage. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to play the beta a shit ton on account of the fact that unfortunately, <laughs> the most beautiful monkey paw ever, um, I got sick that weekend. So unfortunately, uh, my body was just not apt to just play fighting games for hours upon hours upon hours i got a couple of hours of footage um and i did experience a majority of the stuff in the game uh in terms of the beta so i just wanted to give my initial impressions of the game and let you guys know how i felt about the game what i think of the mechanics what i think of the presentation and everything and uh uh, it's not even mince words. Let's just get right into it. So the first thing I want to mention in terms of my general impressions of the game is that I really do like the user interface of Street Fighter 6. I really think that the user interface of this game um, is personification through simplicity. It really does give a vibe of, you know, that general hip hop esque theming they're having throughout the game while also making the game's UI simplified enough that you don't get lost in it. Street Fighter 5 if I had to compare it to another UI, Street Fighter 5's was very muddled and kind of very confusing to navigate. And Street Fighter 4's was very stylized, of course, because, um, you know, it was a return to form for Capcom to come back to Street Fighter. But uh, Street Fighter 6 has this like middle ground where it's like it fits the theming of the game, but it's still very like it's not drastic or dramatic. It's very simplified, but it works for what it is. So I got to give credit to Capcom for that. I really do like the user interface of Street Fighter 6. It's very good. The next thing I want to talk about is the graphics of the game. What do I feel about the overall presentation of the game in terms of its graphical fidelity? Now that I've had the game in my hands personally and I'm not watching it through a YouTube video that is either compressed or, you know, it's downgraded to the point where you can only really get a general understanding of what the game looks like. And I can tell you right now, man, if you have the ability to play Street Fighter 6, look at that game with your own eyes. Do not trust what you see on YouTube because, man, this game is gorgeous. Like it, it's not graphically in terms of its fidelity. It's not the most amazing game. I still think games like Mortal Kombat 11 and even Tekken 8's teaser look better than this. But if we're talking about art style and the technology that's being used to bring these characters to life in this way, man, does this game fucking push boundaries. It is a beautiful goddamn game. Every special, all the hit sparks, the stages, the characters in the background, even like they're down. They obviously don't look super detailed, but they look pretty damn good for what it's worth, you know. And of course, obviously, the characters, you know, that you're playing as, they look fantastic. I love their redesigns, you know, I, I love the way they move on the stage. Just everything about the presentation of the game graphically is top notch. And I'm really happy to say that Street Fighter looks damn good. This is a game that looks really goddamn good. So generally, I can say that the presentation of the game is very solid. I think that it's very good. Uh, we obviously have not seen the massive scope. We still have a lot more characters and stuff to be revealed. We still haven't seen all the stages and stuff like that. We still haven't even seen what the other UI aspects look like for World Tour and stuff like that. But I, I, I like I said, this is about the beta. And in terms of the beta, which gives us access to most of the main menu, you know, stuff. I can say that I really am enjoying the presentation and vibe that Street Fighter 6 brings to the franchise, and I'm looking very much forward to getting more. Now, moving on, we're going to talk about the battle hub and character creator. And first, I want to talk about the character creator because, man, holy fucking shit, the amount of options and variety and just overall detail the character creator has is honestly mind boggling. It's so goddamn weird to see a Street Fighter game have a character creator that supersedes even the amount of options you get in Monster Hunter. That's fucking crazy to me. But um, it was really cool. I didn't delve into it too much. I looked around to see like all the the features and stuff that you could put on your characters and there's a lot but i, I honestly was just like and I, I, I just want to play the game <laughs> honestly like i really just wanted to jump in and play some goddamn matches so i made a very basic character as you could probably see on screen but um you know the cool thing is you, know, you could customize your character in any way shape or form like every single facet of their body their face their hair you can customize and it's really cool that they really like delved in deep to really allow 
you to make your Street Fighter character, you know, your persona persona in the Street Fighter universe, you know, and that's that's really dope to see. And it's also cool that um, for the beta, obviously, because they specified that your beta character is not saved. Like this is not being carried over to any final game. You have to get a brand like you have to make a brand new avatar when the final game releases. They allowed you to make a recipe sheet, which is really cool because it basically gives you the ability to save a copy of the stats you had for that creator character. And then when you get access to the game again in the final release or who knows when, if they're gonna do another beta, I hope they do, um, you can remake that character again. So I thought that was really cool. After you're done creating your character, it takes you into the battle hub where you're introduced to the battle hub's host Eternity, who I fucking love. I love Eternity. I love that we have this like sassy fan, like, you know, fabulous character that is the host of the battle hub and you know just is just lounging around and making sure everybody's having a good old time he's like literally just a direct reference to chris tucker's character in the fifth element and i just loved everything about it um he gives you the rundown of all the features and stuff and then you just drop right in literally like you you press it and it just takes you to a quick lobby and then you just drop right in with everybody else everybody else is a abominations of character creators <laughs> but either way um the battle hub is neat um you have a lot of different things you could do in the battle hub you can sit at an arcade cabinet and play some basically casual hub matches with people in the hub if they want to you know fight you they can walk up to the other side of a cabinet it's a head-to-head -head cabinet so it's two sides and uh you sit on one side the other person sits on the other and then as soon as you guys ready up boom you're right into a game fast loading it gets your character data from the matchmaking uh, menu and then you just that's it that's all it takes you just get right into a match um it isn't like rematches unfortunately i don't think um from what i understand i only played a couple of hub matches i didn't play a lot i, I was honestly more playing the casual and ranked matchmaking um but i don't think there was rematches that's something that should they should definitely change but either way um you could do that there was the game center, which was kind of a disappointment for me because I really wanted the game center to be more of like a the same as the head to head cabinet experience where you could kind of play old Capcom games with other people. But unfortunately, it's really just leaderboards and score, which is still neat. It's still neat that they gave you that option to be able to be like, all right, man, you know, I just want to take a little break from playing online. I'll go play like Final Fight or Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo or something. That's still really neat. But I just wish they would have done a little bit more with that. But uh, that's still cool. Um, you have the extreme battle corner, which is where you can play extreme battle modes with people in the lobby. If you don't know, you know, all two of you, the extreme battle modes are like the really like out of this world modes, like the weird exploding ball stage thing or the bull run or knock down five times and you win. You know, it's, it's basically the fun mode of the game. You know, you just want to have fun. You play the extreme battles and, uh, I didn't really play around with those because that's just not my interest, but um, it was there. You have the good shop where you can go to customize your avatars. Uh, look, you customize their clothes, give them like, you know, glasses and gloves and shit like that. I went in there for a little bit. It was very limited. They didn't really add a lot of it, which I understand. Like I said, it's a beta, but um, it was still cool to see like how it's going to work. Basically, I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably going to work on a time based system where it's going to like rotate out certain clothes and stuff based upon what time like you know you go to the good shop but either way i thought it was neat there's the event calendar which i also did not participate in because like i said i just wanted to play the game <laughs> but um the event calendar is where you can join in on online tournament modes um they have tournament modes that you could join into and uh you could win and like they broadcast it over the screen in the battle hub area where you can spectate matches actually so that was really cool too and uh you know you have your little dj booth where you could play music and you have your little photo thing where you could take photos and stuff like that it's a nice little experience i think the battle hub is like perfect for the casual experience or the casual consumer i personally think that i'm hoping that the game has an option to be able to just match make from training mode and fighting ground but I mean, I don't mind the battle hub. It's just not the thing that I really care for. If I have friends that want to play the game, then I'll probably go into the battle hub. But otherwise, I, I really don't see myself being in it a lot of the time. Um, but I thought the battle hub was neat. I thought it was really cool. I thought it was very, very innovative 
and functional shockingly enough it was very well functioning throughout the entire beta it really did like pull its legs and work for the most part i was surprised because usually in a beta systems like that always have issues but there weren't really that many issues so that was pretty cool big ups on you capcom good job so next i'll go into the big meat and potatoes basically of the entire sf6 beta what did you think of the characters what did you think of the gameplay and what did you think of the mechanics um and if i had to sum it up generally uh great great and fantastic i really did like the gameplay of this game i think all the characters are really cool and i think the mechanics of this game make it honestly one of the most interesting street fighters in a very long time the characters in particular were very interesting because no matter old or new they all felt like they had so much to them like in the newer characters cases like kimberly and jamie and luke you know well, redesign luke um they all seem to have like very good kits for like base you know like for that casual like newcomer like i think kimberly honestly is the best like new character in the game because she's not only accessible from a uh you know first time player standpoint but also from people coming over street fighter 5 because i'm gonna say this right now i think kimberly is like the most street fighter 5 character of every character in that game she plays relatively similar to like a character that would be in street fighter 5 which is not a bad thing because i think that she's still really fucking cool but um yeah and then also it just shocked me because the older characters are so kitted all of them have so much new shit they can do and it honestly makes it feel so brand new and it makes it feel so fresh i played ryu and he is the most different ryu i've ever played he doesn't play like ryu from three four five two none of them He's like a brand new character now. So is Chun, which is shocking because it's just like these characters have been around for years and they still have new shit they're doing. And I, I love it. I, 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 I've said it before that the number one thing I really wanted from Street Fighter 6 was for them to take these characters in new directions. You know, I don't want to see the World Warriors go away. I want to see the World Warriors evolve. And that's exactly what Street Fighter 6 is doing. And I very much enjoyed most of the characters. I didn't get to play everybody. I jumped in training mode and played around with everybody. But the characters that I mainly fucked around with online were Jury and Ryu. So just to get that out there, I did play everyone else. I think everyone's really cool. I think Ken is the best he's ever been. But um, yeah, character wise, the game is fucking sick. And I can't wait to see more characters as more get revealed in the future. The gameplay of Street Fighter 6 is also very captivating. With this new drive gauge system, it really does change the whole entire like like baseline for the game like because I'll, I'll i'll explain it from my perspective when i walked into street fighter 6's beta i thought okay drive gauge is going to be important but i'm going to also have to manage my super gauge as well you know just basic fighting game brain you're going to have to make sure you're managing everything your, <laughs> your neutral your mobility your your execution and your you know your bars you have to manage that you have bar for you know if you get caught up in something you can counter or stuff like that and man let me tell you something right now first off never don't pay attention to your drive gauge only pay attention to your drive gauge do not care about super meter i'm just gonna be completely honest with you um because you get super so easy in this game it's not even funny like it, it, you will get like level two or level three and you won't even notice you got it um because you'll be so focused on your drive gauge and not burning out because your drive gauge is so integral to every single big thing that happens in the match it, drive gauge is literally the driving force of the fighting in this game which makes sense i mean the whole game is built around it but like drive rushes drive impacts you know shit drive impacts alone change the neutral of street fighter 6 so much and it's so fun it is so much fun playing street fighter 6 it is it is a blast with all the mechanics and things you can do with every character on top of utilizing the drive gauge you know mechanics and commands it's just so much fun i had like a very hard time don't get me wrong because you see in the footage i got my ass kicked but by the end of the beta i was figuring shit out and i was like man this game gives you so many more options than like street fighter 5 did like it's so different like the gameplay feels like street fighter 5's neutral mixed with three and four's mechanics while also hearkening back to two's gameplay with the burnout system 
it's so weird like it, it is such a like beautiful hodgepodge of just a bunch like it's just a mismatch of every street fighter game every single street fighter game is present in this game and it's it's mind-blowing because of how well executed it is am i saying that it's perfect no because i know that people are complaining about drive gauge which i say get good but um at the same time you know it you're always gonna have issues fighting games always have issues before launch fighting games are always going to have issues there's fighting game balance is always going to be an issue which i'm happy to say that that's not an issue with this game because everybody in this game seems fairly kitted out enough to fight whoever they need to fight in the game so if i had to wrap that up on gameplay uh gameplay mechanics and characters all feel solid i was enjoying my time even though i was getting my ass kicked i was enjoying my time with the game the game was very fun and i honestly miss it <laughs> at the time of this recording i recorded i'm recording this a couple of days after the beta happened so i actually miss the game after playing it during the beta the last thing i want to talk about in regards to street fighter 6 is the music now one of the things that a lot of people have been saying about street fighter 6 is that the music has not been hitting for a lot of people personally i think the music is fine i don't think it's bad it doesn't like it's it's not gonna harken back like you know ryu's theme in street fighter 5 where it's just like an epic arrangement version of his original theme from 2 like you know like we grew up with those themes of course we're gonna be more attached to them than like brand new themes but um you know it's one of those cases where street fighter 6's music doesn't really like it doesn't hit when you listen to it on its own but when you're playing the game and Ryu's theme plays or Chun's theme plays or Jury's theme plays while you're playing as these characters or just in a very intense match it works it really does work it works so much that I honestly think that it made me realize something that I really want for Street Fighter 6 and that is I really want a jukebox system I really would like a jukebox for Street Fighter 6 I would like the ability to be able to shuffle through all of if not most of the Street Fighter franchise music while playing the game it, i think it would be really good and i thought it was effective i actually did it on my last session of playing the game i actually booted up some third strike music and i actually was like it fits it really does fit it works and i would love to like have that in the game tekken can do it guilty Gear can do it it street fighter damn well can do it king of fighters did it street fighter can do it too there's no way you're telling me it can't but um yeah I, I thought the music was very good my my mind has definitely been changed on the music to playing the beta like i really do enjoy these themes they're different but if you listen to them and you experience the game together you realize that these themes really do work for these characters they do the new themes are very good and i really did like the sound design and music of the game but honestly that's it for me in terms of like going into the nitty gritty details of the beta in terms of my opinions on it um if i had to give a final thought on it like just a overall conclusion to my opinion um street fighter 6 is dope it, it's really good and you know it, I, it was a shame that everybody didn't get to play it and i really hope that there is an open beta because i really want everyone to play it because i really do feel like street fighter 6 is an example of you really don't know what you're talking about until you experience it i don't think anyone no matter what content creator no matter how major or minor I don't think anyone can describe just how good this game is to someone because I think that people need to just play this game. You guys need to experience this game and I really hope you do because this game is very fun. I really want to play more. I need to redeem myself for my shitty play. Um, and, you know, I really want to learn more too because that's another thing too. I think this is the most fun Street Fighter game that I've had to learn in a very long time. Like, because I... Like, I, just to go into a personal stint for a little bit i have not played fighting games for a very long time seriously and uh, the last fighting game i played competitively was super street fighter 4 arcade edition and uh, that was in like 2012 2013 so it's been years and i've been playing fighting games on and off casually since then but no fighting game really grabbed me um no fighting game really kept me in that mode of like i want to learn more and i want to get good um, you know, it just kept me in that casual sphere of just being like, eh, I'll play it sometimes and win or lose. I'm just having fun, you know, and that's not bad winning, you know, having that mentality of win or lose and just having fun is a good thing. Um, because, you know, you don't take it too seriously. You're just enjoying the game for what it is. But I'm going off on a tangent. Street Fighter 6 is a game 
that legitimately made me feel like I wanted to get good at it. Like I actually was playing ranked and I was getting my ass kicked. And, you know, usually I would hate getting my ass kicked. <laughs> but in the case of Street Fighter 6, I was actually getting my ass kicked. And I was like, no, nah, I got to get back in. I got to rematch. Now nah, I got to get back in. I got to get back into a ranked match or a casual match. I want to learn more of these characters. I want to learn how to use drive gauge effectively. And that to me is the sign of a great fighting game in the making. Um, because a lot of fighting games these days really just either give you no mechanical death or no skill ceiling and it just makes the game dull or they give you so high a skill ceiling that it just feels like you're never going to really get good. Street Fighter 6 feels like the middle ground. It really does feel like it really is appealing to everybody this time. Um, and I could say as a Street Fighter longtime fan and as a fighting game casual fan and as a gamer, <laughs> that's disgusting to say. As a gamer, I can say that Street Fighter 6 is looking to be a very, very fun time, and I'm very much looking forward to the numerous amounts of information and hopefully more opportunities we get to play the game before its final release. And then, you know, when it finally releases, we get to play Street Fighter 6. So that'll just be, you know, the nirvana, <laughs> you know. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was just me rambling on for a rather long time. Uh, this video was recorded straight, by the way. This was not, <laughs> this 100% was not like written before I actually had to sit down and record this. I'm recording it right now as I'm speaking. Hello. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Comment down below if you played the beta, what you would like to see in the game or what you would like to see changed. I'm very curious. Um, if you have not played the beta, I promise you guys, you're gonna get the chance to play it. There will be an open beta, I promise you. If they don't, I would be honestly very, very, very surprised if they didn't. Um, subscribe if you can, if you like this video, you know, stick around with the A1, and I will see you guys next time for the next video of whatever we're talking about. Who knows, maybe it might be Street Fighter Six. <laughs> anyway, peace out, stay adamant. <laughs>